Illness can be very challenging for us all. Sharon Rammel with you from the humble couch. How are you meant to react when someone is diagnosed with an illness? From my point of view and from a shamanic point of view, it is important to keep perceiving them in their divine light. For we want to feed the energy of divine perfection and this helps create a healing power rather than feeding the power of the illness. For what we give energetically to, we give life to. We need to also focus this same light on our dear Earth Mother. We need to surrender to the changes that are happening for we don't know what will be born from them. This is also very important for we are here to create a path that beauty can flow from by continuing to vision a dream for the earth and all of life that embraces love, light, harmony, beauty, balance, peace, equality and abundance. Now sometimes this can be very difficult for there is simply nowhere or no how that we can escape for safety except for in the comfort of resting in our spirit and the spiritual practices that we engage in. The landscape of our dear Earth Mother is evolving and changing just like it has done throughout all of time. Land masses have changed and will continue to do so time and time again. We all face challenges. Sometimes the destruction can be very, very difficult from us. When I look around here, there are people knocking trees down and it is terrible. For I feel pain for the animals, the trees, who suffer loss of home and lives. However, at the same time, I must also forgive the person who has done that and offer them my love. For at the same time, we are recognizing that the earth is evolving and changing into new landscapes, just as human consciousness is evolving into a new landscape. The key, no matter what is happening, be it illness with a person, destruction of landscape, is to keep perceiving our dear Mother Earth in her spiritual aspect and her divine, beautiful spiritual light. Sharon Rammel, offering you a little bit of solace on how to deal with illness for both human and our Mother Earth.